the tunnel. In the tunnel. In the tunnel. You're listening to In the Tunnel. Hello and welcome to In the Tunnel, episode number 45. 45 or 44, part B or 2, if you are stickler for D. Eh, I mean, it is technically a different topic, is it not? It, it is a Sunday, so really, what is <laughs> Sunday's not for the numbers. Sunday's, well, not until football season. <laughs> yeah, so... uh Today we'll be focusing on the NHL side of the off season because we did NBA yesterday. Yeah, whatever that thing's called. <laughs> so let's just get straight into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> NHL. Uh, we just wanted to throw this up here because yesterday's episode or Saturday's episode uh, had the number of nba trades in their entire draft and they only have 60 picks the number yes. was super high it was over half of the trades uh, half 30, the picks have been y- traded yeah 39 of 60 yeah so here we took the first two rounds of the nhl draft and there are 62 picks in those first two rounds and we have 25 have been traded right and i think like Three of them shouldn't even count because they all had to do with the Mike Hoffman tra- last year with like how bad his uh, was it girlfriend or wife was. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of picks were traded there. So really, it's ba- probably like 21, 20. Yeah. And I mean, we do have some picks that went to more than one team, but not a lot like. We highlighted the ones, and I can bring up the and the NBA one, but the NBA had a lot of picks that traded hands. Uh, we highlighted, like, t- over 10? Uh, didn't count. We highlighted 13. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 13 yeah, there. there. And, there's 13 there, so. Yes, and uh, there's definitely not that many here. Correct, I've highlighted none of them. Yeah, but I mean, like, the 20th pick was the first one in the draft to change hands more than once, right? Right, and it just went back to Winnipeg, so did it really even change hands more than once? You be the judge. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Anyway, let's... that, that, That Kevin Hayes or whatever his name, you know, he must have been really good to warrant that draft pick getting traded back. Yeah. So, yeah, let's just uh, get straight on to the actual results of the uh, first round of the NHL draft. Yeah, Ooh. so as you can see, we have our wheels picks. Our wheel picked the first 15, so we'll show them side by side with the actual results. We, we got pretty close on this one again. <laughs> uh, not necessarily on this slide, but, you know, just in general. Yeah, I mean... I think the wheel had some pretty close picks, but like overall, it was it was well, shooting for the stars. Well, l- l- let me indulge you on this, Sean. Look at picks five and six, and tell me, did they not draft the the same position? They did. I mean, basically the same person in the first round. Anybody can be a star in the first round. Uh, I Anybody mean, I guess you're star. right, but yeah. I mean, you'll see next slide, though. I think um, there was one pick in particular that our our wheel missed out by just a little bit, right? So on on the left, we have our wheel, which did Jameson, Reese, Cedar, then Dorofiev. See, we yeah, had Jameson, Reese going number one. By far, maybe our wheel spin prediction 
he ended up going number 44. So, yeah. yeah. Just a smidge lower on the board. Yeah. And then the wheel predicted uh, Pod Colson going seven. But he actually didn't fall too much farther than the, the top seven. So that's pretty good. As far as actual, mm-hmm. like, Hughes, Kako, Dosh, Byram, Turcote, Cedar. I mean, we had Cedar two to six. That's The wheel's not that bad there. And then nope. Cousins. But yeah, that that's how most people expected it. The wheel's an admirable foe for anyone who breaks. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next eight picks so as you can see here we had the wheel had kako going eighth which is a little weird but uh, who cares the one thing i wanted to bring up was pod colson actually went 10th yeah so, we had him going seven or yeah. something like that so it wasn't too far out well also if you look at matthew boldy who went 12 and we had him going third you tell me how far off we really were in this draft. And then Turcote went 12th. He actually went 5th, uh, was it? Yeah. yeah. So, we I mean... We had a lot that were in the general of the lottery. Broberg also went top our top 7. We had him at... Or, I'm sorry, he went 8, actually. We had him in the top 7 projected. Yeah. So, you know, not far off. Right. I think Broberg, if I may look back at what we did here, and if you'd indulge me for a second, Mr. Sean, we had him at six, and he went eight. Yeah, true. That so was a pretty close one. The wheel done good. It did better than in the NBA. <laughs> yeah, Um. the only thing I was like, I was kind of surprised in the uh, what the actual draft happened that the Coyotes traded up three picks. But I guess the especially, top picks of the NHL draft make a little bit of difference. Yeah, so. but especially to draft a defenseman where we had them think a defenseman who was already there at 14. Yeah, but I mean, then again, the wheel picked the defenseman. Did the team actually want it? Okay. You know, <laughs> you, you bring up points, but we're not about good or bad points here. We're just about points. Right. So let's just quickly run through the last 16 picks that our wheel didn't actually pick. Do, 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 so, yeah. Do, 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 um, draft, big draft. I, I don't know. Like, uh, most of these I, players, like, we had Ryan Suzuki going in our top 15. Actually, I think at 15. Yep. And he went 28. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, he fell. I was watching the draft that he fell. He yeah. probably could have gone earlier. Yeah, but, I mean, I think um, 15th was a stretch, but I do think he could have gone quite a bit earlier. Um, yes. Aside from that, like, yeah, we had Hinola go, what, like 14? He actually went 20, so that's not that bad either. Nope, not bad at all. So, uh, I actually yeah. think our wheel did semi-decent today it did and eventually we'll get into the complex stuff in years to come of when the wheel decides do you trade your pick or not (laughs) yeah that would be funny that would take a really advanced wheel though just a yes or no and (laughs) to who yep anyway moving on now that we've seen the first round we are going, the wheel has expressed its desire to grade the draft. Oh, this shit again. <laughs> so. The, the wheel is basically the main host and we just are its sponsors. <laughs> yeah, so uh, without further ado, it gets what it desires. And we start with the Anaheim Ducks. Sure. Alphabetically speaking. Yeah. The wheel gives the Anaheim Ducks a B. What do you have to say about that, Jeremy? They had a first round pick, if I recall. Um, Let's see. They're getting rid of uh, 
they got rid of the Corey Perrys in the in the aging wonders. Yep. So they actually had two first round picks, which is a, a big deal for them. So I, I'd say B, one of them pans out. Okay. You don't need two when you have first two first round picks. Okay. And then it it goes right back and gives the Coyotes a B. So it apparently it's trade up three spots I, I, was a good idea. I like the aggressive move, and then you add Phil Castle, which makes everybody in Pittsburgh like me cry a little bit inside. But but that doesn't affect time, the wheels draft grade. Well, it was a post draft move, Sean. They did it out of need, and they said, "Hey, we didn't get this guy in the draft," and then they add so. All right, on to the Bruins. We're, we're grading the stuff today. Well, the wheel may or may not be. We don't know its content. We, you created the wheel what? Yesterday or today? Yesterday. Mm, good enough. Uh, it gave the Boston Bruins a C. Only one pick and it was late in the draft. Yep. I mean, that's, what you, that's to be expected. You're not going to get any NHL-ready guys at this point in the draft, so... You know, you're you taking a flyer on a raw, more raw prospect. Fair enough. So you think they have to make a big splash in free agency? No. <laughs> I think they need to pack up the window and rebuild for a few years. All right, well, on to the Sabres, who also get a B. Well, today the wheel just loves the B. No, oh, it's the big baller brand of wheel. I, if I remember correctly, they had the last pick of the first round, and they also had a middle pick? No, just the last pick. Hmm. Oh, okay. I believe just the last pick. Um, And, yeah, for me, given how they fell off in the second half, they probably should have traded up to add some depth, maybe to an immediate roster spot. Uh, They did not do that. And so I don't see yet that they've really done anything outside of re-signing Skinner that really, you know, bolsters his team and improves it for now. Okay. So for me, I, I go lower. Okay. Well, on to the Flames. The Flames also get a B. What is... I guess Boston just got the wrong end of the stick today, so far. Yeah, that that sounds like Boston. Yeah, so, I mean, the Flames get a B. What else is new? I mean, you elaborate on it, what your thoughts are. I mean, I just think this wheel is biased towards that letter. Okay. So, you're not going to go into, actual, into any actual hockey knowledge. You're just I mean, I I don't necessarily think... I think they could have been on the lower end for this draft. Um, But, I mean, again, I don't think it's too much lower. I think maybe like a C of actual rating would have been correct, just based on how things are going. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I ask you because you are more... Despite the shirt that I'd be wearing. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I must deflect to you every so often. True, true. Anyway, on to your hometown team. Nope. The Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, I've disassociated with the store from, ah, from the state of North Carolina. Well, they get a D. I yeah. don't necessarily agree with this one, if you're going to ask me. I don't me. care. Huh? Yeah, they, I, I mean, we both said or agreed earlier. They got a guy that probably fell into their lap, so. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't. I think the wheels just doesn't like him. So, Blackhawks is next. Will they get our first A or our first F? Uh, F, probably more likely. They get the first F. Nailed it. <laughs> eh, uh, I guess uh the. The wheel is just tired of the Blackhawks winning all those years ago, so it just wants them to stay in the dump some more. 
Yeah, I mean, it's only really been two years. True, true. Two years isn't really a long time in the dumpster. I mean, ask the coyotes. It's been like 25 years. Have they ever gotten out of it is the real question. They made the Western Conference Finals the years that you guys made the finals yeah. last. True, true. And they played the Blackhawks that year. <laughs> yep. Anyway, the Avalanche are next. Uh, could see an a for the number of picks that a contender had. Well, they get an F also. Well, f well, f, f you. Eh, I, I really don't think they actually deserve that grade. Really? You don't say? <laughs> Probably like B plus or A in my opinion, actually, for their draft. Yeah, well, B plus isn't on the wheel. Yeah. Fair enough. So, now the Columbus Blue Jackets. Okay. F. Nope. Well, A, they didn't have a first round pick. They got a D. So, mm. they they mm. only got slightly better. Maybe because they had mo they had multiple picks in the later round. D for I D for we traded Duchesne uh for I can't talk right now. D for we traded for Duchesne, and that's why we don't have a pick. Yep. Yep. But hey, you can't fault Yarmo. That was a gut move, and he he did it. So. Yeah, but did you really expect cup winners when you haven't made first round before? No, but he at least made it past one round. Right, but you don't make the you make the incremental steps move. You buy into cup winners once you hit the conference finals one. At least hit second round and then next year buy for trying to get to the cup final. Okay. Baby steps. Yeah, but I mean, he was one losing then two, and then two to anyway. four. I guess, but that's more reason to keep draft pick. Fair enough. All right. When anyway. your two best players are already going to lead, why four? Fair enough. Anyway, on to the stars. Big time spin. Give me that big time they get spin. A B. Mm hmm. Uh. What are your thoughts? Uh. What's I don't on know. your mind? I mean, I really, even though I know more about hockey, I really only know about the higher tier prospects, like the first round or maybe early mm -hmm. second rounder prospects. So when it comes to judging the later rounds, it's kind of tough. So. Okay, so it is one of the boomer bust potentially. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Detroit's on the clock. They are. And do they get our first day? <laughs> no, they get a C. I mean, they had how many picks? Let's see. I'll look into that while I continue to talk. Alright, they had the sixth pick. And that was it. That's it in the first. Yeah, in the first. So, I mean, ideally, a team that's rebuilding like the Red Wings probably needs to have a couple more. But, I mean, I think, like, in... At least in hockey, we do have seven rounds, and you do get the players that come out of those lower rounds if you can See. find them. So, I mean, you, you are probably looking like your draft grade probably does drive mostly from the first two rounds, but as long as you've done like okay in them, you're pretty good with this year B in most cases. Okay. On to you've the convinced me. Oh, uh, Oilers. Well, they didn't get they didn't get Kako to fall into their at eight, so I'm thinking F. You would be correct. They get an F. Should have traded up if you wanted him. He was right there for the taking. It's a shame. <laughs> yeah, no, but I really thought like 
Pod Colson would actually go around like their pick. So I actually would have preferred probably them picking Pod Colson or something. But then again, they've ruined enough offensive prospects for me to want a pr- off, uh, offensive prospect to go there. Yeah, they'll never have success. Not since Gretzky left. All right, on mm-hmm. to the Panthers. Uh, F. Because it's still the Florida Panthers. <laughs> you would be correct. That and they were the first team to draft a goaltender in the draft this year. Uh, Luongo retired, so really, they don't address an immediate, you know, solution. Because a goaltender just can't be put in it like that. Yeah, I but I like mean, there's the quite a bit row. of goaltenders in free agency to, like, hold you over. Yeah. While you build the other pieces. Yeah. Also, well, they real also talk, just traded away Rhyme. Yeah. Uh, but real talk, Luongo's tweet for retirement was hilarious. Hanging the pads on the power line. You got a lot. So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, taking a goalie that early is quite a risk. So, that we'll see how that pans out. But they're t- they took a huge risk. And yes, now the did. Kings. Do you think they get our first A? Nope. What's with this wheel and giving out A's? They get a D. I don't know, maybe because it knew that they gave out a bunch of A's during the NBA one year. Oh yeah, it's the only king. They still have Cole Chuck on the roster. <laughs> that doesn't affect their draft grade, but whatever. Well, it, it affects their drafting decision making. Fair enough. Okay, okay. W- you will take that. Anyway, on to the wild. And they get an F. Maybe because they should have traded up that one spot, or traded up or down that one spot to get Matthew Boldy up. Uh, I don't too know. Much a, too much of a risk at the pick that they were already at. <laughs> yeah. No, they, I mean, I think they deserve, like, a solid B or something. Well, I'm sure you'll be the one to give it. <laughs> anyway, now the Canadian. F. Why did they get an F? They didn't pick Ryan Suzuki yet earlier? I don't know. They didn't, they didn't trade away a pick to P.K. Subban back. Oh, okay. Well, they do get an F, so you would be correct. <laughs> Which is Sorry, cool. man. They haven't made it past the first round in the playoffs since they got rid of Pete. They, they got Weber. Never let him go. Yeah, but they didn't make it past the second round of the playoffs. Anyway, on to the Predators, which after you know I'm right, which they traded PK Subban to the Devils for some picks. So, let's see. The wheel spoken, and they get a C. What do you think about that one? Um, I mean, they they the bulk of what they did to trade away PK in order to go after free agents, which was kind of a weird move to me because they still had that window of competing and I think they risk chemistry in doing so so but they needed I mean, him off the cap if they want to have a chance at Duchesne so true but they, they, they didn't need Duchesne I think they to, did need offense get... more so because they have a solid they, yeah, they have five or six but, solid you... demons already so yeah but you can you can increase offense and in increments with supplemental piece you don't need duchene and duchene is not going to solve all the problems. oh no i completely agree but you know it's the off season the so time I, think, of contract. I think it's a little risky and uh, a c is worn okay so on to the devils do they get our first day yes no no they get an F. How? How do they get an F, Jeremy? 
because the 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 wheel in the section with the F is okay. Okay. Red like the devil, Sean. All right. Eh, we'll move on. Let's get to the Islanders. The Islanders also get an F. Why is this? Because they're the Islanders and they play in crappy ass Coliseum. They're still splitting time this season, right? Who cares? <laughs> They can't. Well, I mean, hold on. Would you rather play in the Coliseum or the Barclays? I'd rather play in the Coliseum just to (laughs) sell out seats. But the fact of the matter is, either way, it's not the right place. Eh, They eh. need. They need to be in Hartford, Connecticut. I think the the Coliseum is better than the Barclays Center, at least. So, eh, eh, but they can get enough too, as long as the Rangers do also. But we'll see. Watch the Rangers get like an A because I said that. Nope. The Rangers get a D. Now, yeah, why would they get a D when the Devils got an F? I'll tell you why, Sean. It's called the the Tri-State... Was it... Uh, I'm trying to think of a word here. The Tri-State, you know, like... Trio. There it is. The Tri-State Trio. And, and everybody fails together. Oh, but they just didn't fail as much. I mean, two Fs and a D averaged out, so pretty much an F. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. On to the they Ottawa Senators. Well, plus they still have long qu- <laughs> for Or whatever's left of them. So the Ottawa Senators also get an F. Dude, this this uh, wheel is really hating on the NHL draft, man. Oh, well, you know, green means go. I guess it's just telling Ottawa that it doesn't have its crap together, even with the draft, so... Well, yeah, it, it, you needed a wheel to tell you the Ottawa shit together? <laughs> no, I didn't, so... I'm on not even the hockey guy on this panel, and I know... The Flyers get a D, so are they affected by the Tri-State was, Syndrome? Um, uh, no. Oh. We, we don't need them in this Tri-State. Okay, on to the Penguins. They, they can be in the Camden... Camden duo. That Camden, Philadelphia, beautiful place. Okay. Duo, just where everybody gets well, shot. Pittsburgh gets a B. What do you have to say about that? I'd prefer if they drafted a guy. I mean, as good of a scorer as he was at number 21. A guy that does not have a horse face. Uh, <laughs> he's got a really big mouth and it kind of scares me. So... <laughs> I'm sure he'll actually be the one pick that they don't trade away, despite the fact that looking at him in a Penguins, and if I have to look at his mouth for the next 10 years, you know, (laughs) I'd rather that he be the one prospect that got traded away. (laughs) Okay. Again, nothing based on skill, just purely the fact that Sam Poulian looks like, oh my god, what the (laughs) hell happened to his... Okay. He got ironed. On to the Sharks. The Sharks get a B. What's so entertaining to that side? Uh, I saw something going on in E. Oh. Okay, well, the Sharks get a B. Uh, I I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to their part of the draft, so. Yeah, no. Really, you don't say. I was was the the Twitter coverage at night. Yeah, but I was, like, uh, definitely dying. Dying, so... (laughs) Sean was dying, and nobody sent them to get well cards. <laughs> Everybody should feel bad. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, St. Louis Blues now. After uh, their, their run, what do you think? I think despite the fact that they had no first-round pick, this is going to be an A in the draft. Nope, they get a B because they had no first-round pick. They can't get an A, apparently. I was close. Yeah. So now on to the... Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, since their sad exit from the playoffs, do you think they made their splash well in the draft yet, Nay? No. No? No. I mean, they already have plenty of depth. So they get an F. 
Yeah, but they they didn't need a, a good. They have plenty of depth still. Okay. Yeah. So on to the maple leaves. If I'm not mistaken, they had a trade for a pick, right? Marlowe or something? Or... Uh, yeah, but I don't know. It was a first round. Let's see. Well, whatever. Oh wait, they you're did... right. You were right on the Sabers. They were. They did draft twice in that round. Oh, okay. Spoiler alert. Uh, no, but the Maple Leafs did not draft in the first. Yeah, they. Tr I know that I said they were part of a trade. I didn't know what yet, but. Yeah, and then Marlowe got bought out by the Hurts, so... Yep. Marlowe had no desire for playing on an up-and-coming... Yep, so, uh, on to the Canucks. If I'm not mistaken, they are the ones that drafted Pod Colson, so they get an A in my book. I thought his name was Dylan Cousins. Oh, right, you're, you're just saying the last name. Vasily I am. Pod Colson? Yeah, I thought you were talking about Dylan Cozin. No. Hockey names are difficult, man. Well, the the wheel says they get a D for drafting one of my favorite well, yeah. players in this draft. Well, yeah, because this guy's first name can either be spelled with the ending with an I at the end of it, or it's like, make up your mind. <laughs> okay, on to the Golden Knights. He's had it too good for too long. Did they get our first day? Uh, yeah. No, they get a D. Oh. Dang. Apparently, everybody did terrible in this draft. You know what it is. The wheel is the Russian judge. It's the judge at the slam dunk contest that never gives the 10. So they'll give the capitals an A. We'll, we'll find out. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, let's There's find out. There's only so many slots left. <laughs> no, they give the capitals an F. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just finish Say it out that with the in Jets. All to see. cap. So let's just finish out with the Jets to see how bad every team in this draft has actually done. Ah. Uh, B. No, they end this thing with also an F. Shout out to the Canadian God. So yeah, um, as you can see, what what do you think of our draft of the wheels draft grades, Jared? Highest I grades mean, are B, lowest we actually have a ton of Fs. Well, I mean, it's kind of like the NFL draft. You don't really know out until like two or three years later. But the fact of the matter is, it's also not like the NBA where you can tell immediately. You know, what a prospect is going to look like. They got minor legal to consider. And first round picks don't always mean anything. But the fact of the matter is, you know, the wheel got mad. So the wheel. The wheel, the okay. wheel doesn't like when too many picks go away from what it's. So, so the wheel's the, given 13 teams an F. That's fine. There's, I mean, there's 31 teams. This is why the, the NHL banned it. Was okay. to to handle criticism like this. Okay. Anyway, on to our next segment, which is free agency wheel spin. spin that Do you want to explain wheel. this one, Jeremy? Uh, yeah. So, why don't you give me another graphic and I'll explain how it's going to work. Uh, yes. What we're going to do, we're, we, we've got a wheel full of the top 50-ish free agents that we took a couple names off because of uh, a trip. Um, So 48-ish uh, free agents. We're going to do a snake draft, meaning that we're going to start with San Jose, then go to St. Louis, Nashville, Columbus, Anaheim, then Arizona. Dallas, New Jersey, Tampa, et cetera, et cetera. You know, your classic snake draft. Um, and every team is ideally going to pick up a free agent. We're going to see for who. We have uh, also two hidden wheels that will say the contract duration and how much uh, money per year. 
Yep. So let's just start it by seeing who oh. San Jose picks in fr- or signs in free agency. And also, we did this on our NBA special the other day, so be sure to check that out. So, apparently, they sign Anders Lee. Anders Lee. All right. And the tweet machine will be up for that. Uh, We're doing term first. So... Term, they sign him for six years. Six years and uh, we have the wheel picking between minimum and what a normal max contract would be. But they sign him for six years, eight mil per year. All right, that's uh, a hefty load, but for a captain of the island, I mean, I guess you gotta take it. Yeah. So on to the St. Louis Blues. What splash do they make in free agency now that they just won? Uh, already been. Apparently, they signed Joe Thornton. All right. Hold on. Let me get the the tweet machine fired up here. (laughs) Joe Thornton to the Blues. Yeah, like that's actually going to happen. And they signed him for... If this is like a lot of years. (laughs) They signed him for six years. What the heck? Six years. He spun and... the same wheel twice. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, he did. It says six years again. Oh, there you go. And then, how much do they pay this guy? Eight million a year. Nope. Six mil. Oh, the podcast lied to me. All right. So, on to the Nashville Predators. They sign Wayne... They don't go for Matt Duchesne. They sign Wayne Simmons. Ooh, so he re-signs. Yeah, apparently. How long do you think they signed him for? Six years ago? One year. Hmm. Not six, but three years. Alright, then it's definitely gotta be like at least six million a year. Again, you want six million? I didn't want six million last time. That's just what you said it was. Oh no, they signed him for three years, ten million per year. That's wildly <laughs> insane. <laughs> All right, and that's been tweeted out to the public. Wait. Wh- All of these just say sources and then player to the team and, you know, stuff like that. Okay, and now the Blue um, Jackets. How do they recover from their travesty of the playoffs and signing? Apparently, their answer is Marcus Johansson. That actually wouldn't be a horrible move for them. Marcus Johansson. Make sure. Yeah. I needed enough time to spell that right, so thank you for giving me that win. Okay. But they signed him for seven years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm digging this. <laughs> Not gonna have anybody leaving for free. <laughs> and, After uh, everybody leaves. Four million dollars. That's wildly underpaying. Yeah. 
So I don't know how they convinced him to that one. Bored man gets paid. Small money, but gets paid. On to the ducks. Alright. The ducks. Hashtag Anaheim hockey. <laughs> they signed Dan Girardi. That's really sad. <laughs> Especially because they just got rid of Corey Perry and they're replacing him with another older... Or they're not replacing him, but, you know, adding a roster full of older players. Yeah. And how long are they going to hold this older player for? Oh. Well. Seven years. Oh, boy. <laughs> There hasn't been anything this comical since we did uh, uh, March Madness. Might this be the official summer of blood contracts? Ooh, Phil Kessel and Matt Duchesne. What a what a combo. All that anybody ever needed. Hold on a sec. Let's see here. Matt Duchesne. To the coyotes, right? Six years. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's cool. That's crazy. All right, you're gonna have to give me a second here. Make sure that I. I gave it some time to the spell here. Anton's draw. Ah! Draw me. Gotcha. And he's going to the Devils? Or Stars, my apologies. Oh, yeah. What I was thinking was stupid. That's not yet. Patrick Marlowe will be the first one. Money, 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 money. Can't make this stuff up, folks. Despite the fact that we clearly are. What? Ah, uh, Phil Kessel. I spelled Matthew Shane wrong in the last. My apologies. People might think that this is not real. And All right, to the devils. How are you feeling about that, big? Ooh. I bet he's going to get an eight-year deal. Bang! Stuck with him like he was Cordy, Corey Schneider.
Oh, you, I mean, you gotta give him a max deal. This is 12 million per e. I mean, he's an up and coming older prospect. Ooh, when I'm 64, because it's eight times. And that, 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 that tweet is now in the universe. How does that make you feel? They bring back Braden Point if they're smart. Huh. Why are they the new caps? So the lightning. I'm guessing this is a two year deal. Close enough. I mean, it's the closest to a short-term contract that we've had. Well, no, I, we didn't have any that were only signed for one. Yeah, I'm just saying that the closest to one year and two years so far that we've pulled is Oh, silly me. My apologies, sir. Yeah. <coughs> to the Maple Leafs, to the Maple Leafs. The Maple, Maple Leafs, Leafs sign Joe Pavelski. Pavelski? Um, hmm. We'll, I don't know how much you got going for you. Well, this is why you get rid of Marlowe to bring in another former shark who is probably getting close to the point of not being able to be that. But that's why he needs a seven year contract. Well, yeah. Well, of course. I mean, Marlowe only got four. That's where they made the mistake. They didn't pay Marlowe for long enough. Oh, okay. But he also gets basically max at $12 million. <laughs> I don't even think the Maple Mitch, Leafs have that Mitch much. Marner, Mitch Marner is not coming back. And <laughs> yeah, the Maple Leafs don't even have that much room. On to the Islanders. I mean, that contract is so long that Joe Thornton's beard is going to be all gray by the time that's Pavalski retired. Uh, Islanders. They signed Peter Mrazek. What do you think? Well, I that? mean, Robin Leonard is a free agent, so, I, you know, sight of what's to come. Fair enough. How long are they stuck with this guy? Uh, I'm gonna guess this one's a two year. Nope, it's a five year. Oh, sh Di Pietro money is surely to come. <laughs> oh, God. Aren't they still paying him? Oh, yeah, wasn't that like a 20 year deal? Yeah, something like that. Uh, Rick for D six mil. Mm. No, it's not as bad as some of the other ones we've recently done. No, but I mean, still. It's not great. On to the Red Wings. They sign Brandon Tennant. Oh, yeah. D. Pietro's contract was only 15 years. My apologies. <laughs> oh. That was. Just five years off. No big deal. Well. Well, now because of, uh, they're going to be paying him until 2029. Wait, uh, Tanev. To the Red Wings. Yep. For six years. Wings up. And? 
I don't even have, I copy and paste the tweet, I don't even have to change it because it's just six years every single time. <laughs> for the three thing mil I've... a year. Okay, you know what that's, you know, for the Red Wings and how in the past they've given real tracks, six years and three million per year is like a solid deal. Yeah. Ezerman takes the throne and he's like, no more over. We're still going to give them way too many years, but we're not going to overpay. Hey, that's something. On to the Bruins. What do you want to see for the Bruins? I mean, unfortunately, they have to sign somebody, according to this. I want to see ESPN NBA insider Chris Broussard. <laughs> no, they sign Artemi Panarin. Oh, of course they did. Because they've had it so hard for so long. Yep. Watch, this will be a one-year deal. <laughs> Max because he's like, the, he's like the top, you know, guy on the list. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a one-year deal. You know when it's coming. Yeah. Sometime. Do you think Max money? Uh, no. I think that this is going to be like four mil. No, it, it's not that bad. It's eight mil. On to the Sabres. I feel weird toying with Boston fans right now. But... <laughs> like, oh, we're getting Panarin? The Sabres sign Corey Perry. That's actually not a bad move for them if it's not an over overkill contract. I would actually agree with you. Which is exactly why we're about to see some record numbers go up, probably. <laughs> yeah. Huh, oh, five years. That's not too bad. He's 34 right now, Sean. Yeah, but I mean, how long? You're still looking for how much? Okay. Eh, it's probably a little bit bad. Five years. Five mil per year. Five years and five million. On to Oof. the Oilers. What veteran now are they going to ruin for the rest of their life? Uh, is Ron Haynes even? No. Uh, how about I Colin think he is Wilson? A free game. That's, I mean, he's a veteran, but not that old. Yeah, true, true. But, I mean, it also depends on how long they sign them for. They only get him for three years. So he's like, I don't want you to ruin me for too long. But how much do they have to pay him? Real question. Three mil a year. What do you think of this contract? I mean, it's very un Oilers esque. Three, three years, three million. That's not bad. Yep. On to the Rangers. They sign Michael Furlan. Mm hmm. Furlan. Sounds like a name that would go great for New Yorkers to like be the one name that they. It's Young Lundquist and Furlan. Just the easiest names for them to. Um, to... Well, I mean, they got to know this guy because he's there for five years. Oh, well, yeah. Those morons. <laughs> Five year, nine million dollar contract. Oh, 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 boy. Weren't they trying to, you know, like build for the Rebuild. future? Rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out the window, I guess. Yeah, man. 
straight out the window. Straight out the window where all, all the New York City pigeons On to the Canucks. Who will have the uh, unfortunate time of finding an, a home in Vancouver? Apparently know, it's Justin Williams. Well, that's actually not a bad pull for them. It's it's a bad pull for Justin Williams, but yeah. not so much for the Canucks. Because the Canucks right now do not have that. True, true. Well, Justin Williams Did apparently the... agrees to signing with them for three years. I mean, his play hasn't really slowed down any. Yeah. I, He's I been agree. healthy. But that day will come where that changes. But he signs a three-year, one million dollar average annual value contract. That's a that's a steal. You take that if you're yeah. Vancouver. Absolutely, you take that. That that's very little on the. Yeah, I, if I'm Justin Williams, I'm not happy though. I'm Justin Williams. I'm just happy to be out of rock. On to the Golden Knights. Oh. Oh. Okay, apparently I'm pretty sure they're re-signing Pierre Edward Belmar. Uh, I believe so. But they they chose Belmar over... I'm going to need you to hold on before you change this wheel. But you can't see the uh, PowerPoint? No, I just needed the Belmar part. Oh. I got it. Okay. Thank you, sir. For how long do they re-sign this guy? Oh, I mean, he's in his 30s, so you gotta think seven years. Mm, close. A nice six years. And I bet it's for six million per. You would love to see that, won't you? Well, if so, then I don't have to change the tweet in. It's for twelve million per. It's a lot for a defenseman. Yeah. Oh no, not twenty-one million per. Twelve million. There we go. We oh, want it to God. be realistic. We want Dude, it to be realistic. No team is gonna sign somebody for half their cap space. It's not half. It's a or mere quarter, third. Quarter of their cap space. It's a mere third. Definitely a quarter. On what to the Ottawa Senators. Diamond? Who will join their perpetual rebuild? Pat Maroon, apparently. Gross. You think he could work there? I'm skeptical. Uh, I don't think he wants to work there. <laughs> I'm skeptical. Oh, apparently the wheel says he wants to work there because he signed there for six years. Oh boy, this is becoming less fun when the wheel just does the same thing every time. I know, right? <coughs> but they Excuse had me. to pay him nine million per year. I mean, yeah. Why would I leave my home? To play for that team. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm on the Florida Panthers, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're on the Florida Panthers. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Yo. <laughs> they sign Devontae smith Pelly. Oh, boy. Didn't even get uh, the one guy who won the cup with the Caps that they just didn't want, apparently. And got back. I am leaving. So, how long did they uh, uh, take? Uh, 17 years. They can't. This is, this is a DiPietro kind of contract coming. They signed him for three years. Same thing. 
it's divisible by except You're, not. You have to go to Miami, Florida as a hockey player. It's not possible. Miami. It's Sunrise. Oh, so... it's like and... an hour away from Miami. And they got him for one million per year. That's depressing. Damn, I would be super depressed. In my, I mean, Florida is one of those states where one million dollars have some in some places. I mean, he doesn't get taxed, basically. So, he ain't even about that. He ain't about that. On to the flames. I would they, ask for the money up They front, sign but... Thomas 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 Vanek. I don't know. Thomas Vanek. Yeah. Vanek for for two years. I was about to say, and I'm guessing for twelve million per. Actually, no, ten million. Ten million. And for four million. On to the Hurricanes, your hometown team, dude. Stop saying that, or I'm going to come to New Jersey and punch you in the face. Anyway. I don't like this state. It's full of weirdos and corny people. They sign Ryan Zingle. Uh, who cares? This is just basically like an expansion team. Like, Hey, you can't it, say they it, weren't it, entertaining it, last year. I can say a lot of things. I think Evander Holyfield was entertaining when he was at the Hurricanes game. I can't say that the Hurricanes were entertaining. Six-year contract for Ryan Dzingle with the Hurricanes. So how is our wheel doing so far, do you think? Oh, it's doing amazing, Sean. What do you think? I think half these contracts are hilarious. For well, and, and that, 10 I mil think, per year. I think that falls within the scope of what the definition of amazing could be. Yeah. On to the kings. More like the queens. <laughs> Who do they get? Uh, Ilya Kovalchuk again. Well, they can't. Oh, they, right. they sign Jake Gardner. Um, cool. Eh, I don't. I doubt they actually have the room for him. They signed him for. Oh, he gets six years. I just deleted the six. <laughs> you should know the wheel loves six, so you shouldn't delete it until I say something. The wheel might be one with the devil with the number of times it brings up a... Six years, seven million per year. I mean, Ovalchuk, Kovalchuk kind of contracts now. Yeah. On to the Flyers. Uh, a half-eaten Wawa sand. I don't think that's a valid player to sign in free agency. They'll find a way. But They'll apparently Richard young. Panic is. Uh, he's actually good. I prefer he not go to the flyer. <laughs> Don't we all? But, unfortunately, the wheel says they get him for five years. Mm, they'll find a way to score a lot. Feel, feel like the league if we go hard. And oh, they had to pay him eleven million per year. <laughs> what a dummy! On to the Capitals.
they get they sign Tobias Reeder. Tobias Reader. Never heard of him. He's have you? Decent. I've heard of him. Good enough to be on the wheel. They signed him for three years. And eleven. What's your guess? I'm gonna say like six million. I just said eleven. Okay. They signed him for two million. I can't even make math jokes with how, like, I guess 11 and it's 2. It's like, I can't even say it's All right, like, um... easily divisible. All right, so we have next the Winnipeg Jets. Yep, and... J-E-T-S. Wrong not sport. Not Jets. Yeah, I they just said signed not Jets. Valtteri Flupla. Well, not a bad replacement for a couple of the names that they would lose this year. It's True. not exactly a popular sign, but no. But I mean, I do think they could probably do better. It, it it's definitely a hole filler. Mm -hmm. But how long is that hole going to be filled for? Uh, two years. Seven years. Oh wow. I mean, lock him up. Isn't he getting on the older side, too? Oh, yeah, I think he's been on the older side. Let's oh, find God. Out. That hole filler is expensive. For seven years, they pay him $11 million. Not seven million. Uh, Valtteri Filippola is already 35 Dang. Okay. That's money you're not going to get back. Yeah. On to the Penguins. Mm, this is gonna sting, I'm sure. Yep. Apparently, Matt Murray's not enough for you, so you guys signed Sergei Bobrovsky. You know, it was weird. I, I was thinking we were probably gonna get a goaltender this time. You know what? It's probably an upgrade. Matt Murray's kind of been shaky the past year. Okay. In GMJR, I trust. Yeah, but if you're going to sign Bobrowski, you got to sign him for a long time. By the way, we have two Matt Murrays who are girls. Wait, what? So you yeah. sign Sergey One's Bobrowski in development for six camp years. right now. Yeah. We have another Matt Murray who's in camp right now. Oh, okay. You signed Sergey Bobrovsky. And he's a goaltender, too. Six years, eight million per year. What do you think? Uh, I mean, it can't be worse than that Jack John contract we gave out last year. All right. On to the wild. As in, it's wild to think that there's two Matt Murrays on the Penguins and they both play goalie. Mm-hmm. Both of them. Okay. The wild sign, Curtis McElhaney. What do you think? Did the wild actually need a goaltender? I mean, he wasn't going to stay in Carolina. True, true. Ooh, this is, I mean, if they're smart, they give him like a two-year deal. They do give him a two-year deal. And then, uh, two million per. How much was he making before? I don't know. He was the backup goaltender for Carolina. He probably wasn't making that. True, true. Oh, well, they pay him three million per. So, not bad. Would you agree? This is actually, like, a yeah. decent signing. I mean, that was only one million projection. That's yeah, just that good negotiating pretty... tactic. Decent signing, so on to the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks take Derek England away from Vegas. Wait, how do we go from the Penguins to the Wild? Because of the number of teams. 
So it's a snake draft. Yeah. Number of teams. It actually jumps okay. up a little bit. Oh, uh, let's see. Derek England to the who's? <coughs> to the Blackhawks. He's taken away from his hometown where he declared that he wanted to stay. So, I don't know how good he'll be for Chicago. I mean, he really found his second win in Vegas, so taking him away from Vegas is probably not a good idea. But apparently an eight-year contract gets him away from Vegas. I mean, for an eight-year contract, you can probably buy a few homes in Vegas and just call it home. True, true. Uh, it's also an eight-year max contract for an aging defenseman. Twelve million per year. Okay, and on to our last two teams. The Avalanche and the Canadians. Pabs. Who do we want to see go to the Avalanche? Uh, someone on the wheel. Well, someone on the wheel is correct. Apparently, Brian Boyle goes to the Avalanche. That's kind of corny. I don't think of an enforcer wearing an jersey. Yeah, I really don't either. The maroon just doesn't really pop and say, you know, I'm about to... Well, apparently they're signing Boyle for seven years, which is probably outrageous. What do you think? Oh, it's worked before. Don't ask younger. me where it's worked. But... <laughs> hmm. Seven years, five million a uh, average annual value. So he's getting quite a pay increase and quite a length of contract increase. What do you think? I mean, he's going to hit his prime eventually, right? Okay, on to the last team. So the Canadians, who do they get from the remainder? Because they were just so late into this draft. Uh, Radulov is going to have to reset. Nope, they get Alex Chiasen. Oh, boy. That's uh, as a, a chai a Chiasen. Well, however you pronounce it. I'm sorry. I, no, I was making a joke that it starts with Chai like Chai. Anyway, so they sign him for three years. And what do you think, Max Steel? Oh, that would be no. hilarious. I think we have to end on a number that we haven't picked before. I'm thinking four million. Nope, it's max deal. God damn it. We have to end on max deal, dude. Unfortunately, it wasn't eight years max deal, but... Dude, it's another max deal, man. Man. Did we not actually roll four million? No, we did. Oh, we did? Mm -hmm. Marcus I just Jones. don't remember it. It was all the way at the beginning. Oh, wow. Would you look at that son and of a... Bannock. Did we ever have a 5 million? Yeah, we had a couple. Uh, Boyle was a 5 million, which was the one before. Are there any numbers that we didn't have one? Did we have a 7 million? Uh, that might be... No, that might be the number. You know? no, we did, we did, we did. Uh, oh, yep. Jake Gardner. Gardner. What about year lengths? Did we cover them all? I see 6, 3, 7... One, five, two, do we have a four? Four. Do we have Where a, do you see a five four? year deal? No, okay. Five, okay. sorry. I don't see a four. Ooh. Drama. No, yeah, so the only number to get picked was four years, huh? Crazy this league, man. Yeah. It's something else. When you're busy sucking on your own uh, popsicle full of NBA, you don't know what's going on in the hockey world. There's a lot going on in these streets. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. These Some of these contracts are absolutely hilarious. Like, 
Joe Pawalski seven years max contract. Are you kidding? Me? It'll only be more funny if it actually happens. Yeah. So hopefully we get some funny things. Yeah. I, well, we can only hope. Yeah. So that's our NHL special. Thanks Don't for tuning in. Don't forget to be tuning in on Twitter for all the new stuff.